Wah! What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today it's Wednesday, May 31st. And today we have a brand new video. Yesterday was May 30th, was uh, the birthday of my little sister. Uh, happy birthday, she turned 17 years old. It was also the birthday of Face Glenn, which was seven years. So uh, congratulations Face Glenn. Dude, no way. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, random spot on my face. Never had that. Sheesh. Um, but. Yesterday was a special day because um, Face Clan was uh, seven years old and we had a, a deal with, uh, with everyone in Face that we weren't gonna post anything on social media, so no Twitter, no Instagram, no Snapchat, no YouTube videos, and uh, we were silenced until they released Ilkams 50. If you don't know what Ilkams 50 is, it's a little bit long to talk about, but it's pretty much the most recognizable series by Face Clan ever. We're starting off the morning, or like, it's almost 12, uh, with a three whole eggs and some milk whisked through it. And um, yeah, that's gonna be our breakfast. Then we have some leftover rice, and, um, green curry rice in the fridge. We're gonna eat that as well. And then go to the grocery store to get some, um, some protein yogurts. And um, yeah, then we're gonna go hit legs. Uh, I'm gonna go over the leg workout today as well. So, because last, week the leg workout went really well for some reason so um we'll see uh we we almost did two well we did 195 for like six like great reps so I'm like am i squatting 225 for like four now great i don't mind but yeah let's start off with breakfast and i'll check in with you guys later also i forgot to mention that i have a full cup of water that i'm going to be drinking because we need to stay hydrated kids this is empty, and this as well. Uh, meal number one complete. Now we're gonna hit the shower and then uh, eat meal number two. Welcome to meal number two, guys. Uh, we are getting some some leftover white rice, chicken, green beans with a green curry sauce, and we're gonna add some sweet chili, just because it's it enhances the, the sweetness of this product, you know. No, it's really good with sweet chili uh, mixed through. But uh, we filled up our cup yet again. So that's, I think these cups are, um, it says on it, I can't really see, it says five. Yeah, I think it's half a liter. Yeah, so we, it's, uh, if we down this, we uh, drank more than a liter today already, which is good. Uh, gotta stay hydrated, you know. Then uh, I'm just gonna eat it. I'm not really hungry. But I kind of am too, so it's kind of hard. But we're trying to finish this. It doesn't look that much anyways, so we should be clear. Well, that is finished now. This is finished as well. I'm gonna uh, fill it up one more time today. Oh, not today, before we hit the gym. So we'll do that now. So the plan is we fill this up one more time. So we are on uh, a liter and a half. And then we also fill it up with our pre-workout, so that's two liters. And then we also drink another half a liter in the gym, so that's two and a half. And then for the rest of the day, I just sip on these when I please. So that's pretty much my uh, water schedule every single day um, with a nice face cup. But yeah, this is done, so uh, let's put it back down here. Um, yeah, now it's just a little bit of... Um of relax, well, relaxing. Uh, I'm gonna do some emails now. I'm gonna do some plans because I'm um, working for the face guys, obviously. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll hit you up when we are going to the gym. Oh, let's do that, huh? Yeah, let's do that. These things are so addictive and annoying, but also like super fun. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy this so much. I wanted to go over something that might help you. Um, so today we're doing legs and we're squatting and um, I don't have squat shoes. So when you don't have squat shoes, there's a couple options you can have. And I recommend um, one thing and that's having a shoe with a nice solid sole. Um, I do have some other type of shoes here. It's like the NMDs um, or the fly knits. But uh, for me, when squatting, when deadlifting, I like shoes like this more. Um, they're a little bit more flat, and um, there's, the sole is not really, you know, there's not really a sole here. Uh, it's just like a sock. Um, NMDs, 
are have a very nice soul but i feel like they're very unstable they're not like they don't uh, have the same stability as this one for example in my opinion they're a little bit too loose so when i feel like when i do squat a little bit more heavy for me um i feel like i'm wobbling and, and that's something that you definitely don't want so um yeah that's just something i wanted to go over since it's pretty important um the reason why i don't have squat shoes is something uh it's it's a personal thing. Um, I want them, but I only want them when I can uh, rep out 225 for a good amount of times, for like eight. I feel like you have to earn the right to wear squat shoes for some reason. Um, so that's why I don't have them yet. But so uh, we'll see. Today is like an, uh, a thing where we go, we do uh, five sets of eight and we go up in weight uh, all the time and we see where we end off. And today is more of like having a look of where we stand right now with squats. Um, so if it's like five times 195, five times, uh, I mean eight times 195, or like we don't even get that. We can see where we stand and we can build our plan off that for the next coming weeks to build it up just like the bench press. Um, because I have a similar plan to do the squats as the bench press. So the bench press right now is... Every week I do five sets of eight with one set weight and maybe the last two sets I uh, move up in weight. When I do that comfortably, I uh, move the whole, the, the two sets that I did at the end, that weight. I move to next week where I do five sets with that weight. And when I do that comfortably, I add two sets with more weight and then that's how we uh, use progressive overload. Damn, I look at my veins. Um, that's how we use that uh, to progress. So. Uh, it's very steady, it's very slow, it's safe. Um, you only do it when you feel 100% comfortable in hitting those weights. Um, but yeah, cool. Uh, we'll uh, I'll get to the gym right now, uh, put these shoes, shoes on, and then we'll go. So uh, I'll, I'll film the workout, I'll go over it on a commentary, so we'll jump into that right now. Enjoy, cool, ciao. What's going on guys? Welcome to the commentary part of this video. Today we're going to go over the leg workout that we did, the three exercises we chose and the abs that we did after. So starting off with squats, I have a couple of angles, some really awkward angles actually. I didn't really realize, but um, well, yeah, we'll, you'll see. Okay, it's all good. Just concentrate on me, you know, on my voice. But um, as I said before in the clip before, I'm planning on doing five sets of eight repetitions. Whoop, nice angle, but um, eight sets, uh, five sets, eight repetitions. Uh, we're starting off before that with a lot of warm up stuff. So I did two warm up sets without any weight. Then I did two warm up sets with uh, just 10 kilo on each side, so 40 kilos, which is uh, I think 95 pounds. Uh, so very lightweight. And then we start with the first set. So I start off with 135, and I gradually. Um, every set I added five kilos on each side, so that means 25 pounds on each set in total I add to the weight. Uh, we did that for five sets as I said, and I just wanted to test out and see how I felt when doing squats and uh, how every f um, weight felt. Um, because from next week on we're starting uh, to plan our um, progress on squats. So I'm now deciding on how much I want to start off of. And then we'll go and do the uh, progressive overload, like I said. Um, so the thing is that I want to have with my main lifts, the bench, the squat, and the deadlift. I want to get to a certain level, and then I want to build off of that. I've already been doing it with chest, with bench press, and it's been going so, so well. So uh, I wanted to do it with squats now too. So this is, um, let me see, this is 80 kilos, and this was the by far the best set that I did. It felt very good, it felt heavy, but um, it, I felt like I could do five sets um, of eight repetitions with that. Uh, rest times, I had a lot of rest in between because um, with these main lifts, um, you want to be fresh and when the next set comes. So that's why we take like two or three minutes in between. Uh, this is 90 kilos. We also did for eight reps. I was very, very uh, surprised that I was able to do eight reps with 90 kilos after three uh, sets already. So I'm really happy about that. I also decided to go for a hundred kilos or 225. Um, you'll see that in a second, but I didn't have any spotters, so couldn't go crazy. But um, for me, it felt really good. The depth was all right. I was making sure I was going below parallel 
And um, yeah, I pushed through my heels, that all felt very good. No complaints about my knees, no complaints about my lower back. I had my abs tightened the whole time. I was breathing well. Um, I just checked off a lot of things for myself that I wanted to make sure that we're all right. Uh, so I know I could you know, start uh, squatting like I wanted to next week. So this is the set of 225 that I decided to do. Uh, this was the last set. I wanted to go for eight, but I knew I couldn't get eight. Uh, because as I said, if I could get eight, I would buy some squat shoes and actually get going. But um, I did three reps. I felt like I had definitely five or six in the tank if I had a squ uh, spotter. But I decided not to risk anything because, you know, safety first. I, it's, there's no way um, to, there's no point of ruining myself um, if I do fail. Then I moved on to some hamstring curls. As you all know, I do it on the extension machine because we don't really have a good hamstring curl machine in my gym. So I have to improvise a lot, but this is very, very nice that you isolated very, very well. I did um, 10 reps on each side for three sets. So um, 30 reps on each side in total for that. I picked a weight that felt comfortable. I think it was 15 kilos It's quite a hard exercise uh, to do and to set up But once you have it set up and done it is very very good to do then I decided to do a uh, calf raise at the last exercise So three exercises the reason why I only did three is because now soccer season or football season is over I can train legs twice a week So I want to do squats twice a week like I do bench twice a week and then um, Do some different like for example one day do hamstring then the next day do more extensions then the other day I do like um, I don't know just mix it up, you know, since I can train it twice a week now, we can hit, hit different areas. Uh, then we want to go over the app exercises. I did one super set and, um, of this, cable crunches. I did four sets, I think, four sets of 12 repetitions. Um, this is obviously with added weight. Very, very good, very controlled. Make sure my um, nothing is moving except for my elbows that go to my knees and that I really, really squeeze well. Then I superseted that with weighted front, um, weighted raises, weighted leg raises. Um, half like straight, half bent. It's like a mixture. It's like not fully straight, but not fully bent either. Uh, really hits the lower abs really, really well. I did that, I think 10 or 12 reps as well. So I'm flexing. Yeah, sorry, had to do it. Then I did some cable like rotation. Not really sure what these are called exactly, but um, really good exercise, uh, really works your obliques well and your serratus. Um, yeah, nothing much to say. Keep straight arms, rotate around you, make sure your hips and all are um, stationary and you don't move them. Uh, you just move the upper body and you rotate and you, you, know, you use your obliques uh, to squeeze it. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this um, workout. And for this video, I thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys in the very next video. Deuces!